So we're here in the Taipei 101 building right here uh, with Gigabyte. And who are you? Uh, hi, I'm Peter from Gigabyte. So this is the Thunder X2 right here. And, uh, and hi. Hi. Nice to meet you again. And who are you? My name is Hoshino, in charge of product planning Gigabyte. So uh, what are we looking at right here? Now we see this, this is the new product for the Sound X2 solution. It's the ARM64 solution. So um, is this ready now for shipping? Um, yes, some of we have three systems here. You see, this is the 2U40 high density solution. There will be the one more of that. So this is high density, that means you, you can fit four yeah, in a, what is this? A, four nodes in a 2U rack. Two 2U40 two systems. Very, very dense. Very, very high density computing ability for the HPC and the data center solution. What's connecting here? Uh, this is the storage. 2.5 inch. Uh, SATA, SAS, uh, Every node HDD. Six. So it's, it could be a bunch of SSDs, maybe 7.15 yes. uh, terabyte. Yes, each. in the beginning, we just used the standard SATA or SAS uh, hard disk. But in the future, we will have some NVMe U.2 SSD. And uh, how is the NVMe U.2 uh, SSD going to be great? It will be six times performance than the traditional hard disk, I think. And uh, that's, that's great for cloud? It's great for cloud, it's great for HPC storage, and for a lot of new usage and applications. So, um, and, uh, and here you have some different yeah. systems too? Yeah. Here's the 2U compactor. We call it R281 system. It's also a Soundex 2. And uh, we use the common design. You can see here, these two systems use the same motherboard. That's the very optimized design for 1U, 2U. Both use the same motherboard in this How is that possible? Server. Because we use the common design in the beginning of the development stage and we develop the system. Not only consider about the motherboards, also we consider about all the total solution, the server solution and the storage solution, rear I.O. Uh, flexibility, flexibility and a lot of um, power consumption, we consider all. And make the common design to make the best Optimized design. But uh, for example, the, the cooling fans right here are smaller than there, but it's the same same motherboard, but how's that gonna work? Yeah, um, that's different uh, usage because it depends on region demand. Uh, some region, um, you know, maybe in the uh, United States, in Europe, they want one use solution usually. But in China, they want some, they have some similar concern usually. So they want the 2U form vector. Mainly. So does this mean that this is uh, the same density as that one? Because you can put two of them in the same space as one of those. No, this I is know. only one node, but that's four nodes. Four nodes. Right. But uh, you, can, you can put two on top of each other, right? Yeah. Yeah, but this is only one node, two sockets. This one, in a one U, it's uh, two nodes, two sockets. So four, four CPU in a one U. This is only two CPU in a one U. So how soon is this available? So these two systems will be launched in next month. Next yeah. month? We use the final version of the CPU, B1 Sound X2 CPU. So uh, there was the, this is the general availability chipset, right? The, yep. the final performance, the, f the great performance? Yeah, great, great performance similar to the Intel Purdy solution and the AMD APEC solution. So um, how good is the performance? Because I just did an interview with a, a guy from Serve the Home. He did the, he used a Gigabyte uh, uh, Thunder X2 production machine, yep. Yep. and he compared with AMD and Intel. How's the performance difference? So uh, usually, um, for the maybe your old imagination of the ARM solution, the ARM is just the low end of the entry server market. But now, their performance um, for basically GCC uh, speaking. Uh, score. I think it's the similar number to the uh, Intel Purdy solution and AMD APEC solution. It, it can be also used for the mainstream of the IT enterprise and the HPC applications. So uh, lots of application compatibility, yeah. but the performance also, the th single thread performance, how does that compare? Similar, but you know, for every com um, applications in server market, 
it's a little different from the consumer image because it's dependent on all case by case. Different application use different solution and provide different performance in the TCO. Because uh, at Gigabyte, you are experts in having many, many different server solutions yep. all around here and there and over there. So basically, you have Intel, AMD, and, and ARM. Yeah. All three, right? We have all the uh, flexible solutions. We are the most uh, um, completed solution in the world for server market, I think, because we have the Intel. Uh, main solution, and also we have the AMD Epic solution, even the Qualcomm centric solution. We have our system, and the uh, Cendex uh, from Kevin uh, is also our main product. And uh, from Cendex uh, number one generation, we have already shipped a lot of system to customers. Yeah, a lot of. Can you say how many? Oh, secret. <laughs> but so far, it's not millions, right? Um, I mean, so far, it's not the, the whole data center full of our. Yeah, yeah. As you know. Uh, it's, I think it's just uh, it's the beginning of the ARM solution because for the ARM solution, current main demand is from the research and uh, some uh, data center for the sampling only. Uh, and uh, to the 2020, there will be a very big change because in Japan, the next generation of the supercomputer will use ARM uh, architecture. And uh, as you know, in China, they are very concerned about the um, security engine, so they want the open source like ARM solution. So government now pushing the ARM solution very hard in China. Because, uh, I mean, we're not in China, we're in Taiwan, yeah. which is not China, but yeah. there's uh, uh, so many people, everybody wants to do a smartphone, uh, full speed, they want to do games, they, everybody wants to have amazing cloud performance. Yeah. So maybe it's very important for China to have a policy to say, yeah. uh, we need we need to consider maybe to be greener or to have better yeah. uh, multi-core solutions that are more custom for saving power. Yeah, you are correct. Because you know, for the ARM device, now more and more ARM devices are used for IoT and uh, um, AI. So you know, AI, uh, if they use the same ARM architecture, then you need some performance to translate the ZON86 solution to ARM solution. But if we can use the ARM solution directly for server for in the back end, then that, that problem will be solved and there's no uh, any uh, waste of the performance to translation. So ARM solution will be a very good, I think it's a second source to uh, get some market share from Xeon 86. That's why we think it will be grows a lot. But so far, those designs compared like, to some Intel, are they're not lower power in terms of the one of these, U you call it U2, right? Yep. Uh, the po overall power you put in and the, all the coolers and everything is kind of like the same infrastructure, yep. the, maybe the same cooling stuff that's uh, in an Intel solution. Yep. Same amount of power. So it's not lower power, but it's, just, it's a different architecture. So it might consume less power per task, maybe. Yep. So first, for the design view, um, we use the common design. As you see, this is the our R181 series. And uh, you can see there are two systems, both the R181 system. That's the AMD, uh, Intel solution, party solution. And that's where be the other one will be the AMD Epic solution. You can see we use the common design, the same. Same, same yeah, the, the fans are the same. The fan and some uh, same uh, real I.O. design and the same CRPS power supply. That means we already make ARM um, solution be the main, uh, mainstream solution in the world. So they use the same design to provide the same performance. And the uh, same materials for the connectors, yeah. same, same uh, blue. Yeah. Uh, same, uh, same uh, uh, storage. Yeah. Use the same design. Only, only the chip and some PCB stuff is changing, right? Uh, yeah. You see, maybe you you just can see the socket design is different, but really for our engineering side, you need to change a lot of things in the uh, PCB and a lot of uh, uh, schematic. It's very technical things, but. Uh, we do the same design for all the architecture, that's true. What did you change in PCB? What was, uh, can you say, if, without saying any secrets, right? What, what was the biggest challenge in, in uh, the PCB, for example? Yeah, for, um, for Kevin's currently SoundX2 solution, for the SoundX2 solution, I think uh, they have some special things, like they use the BGA type CPU firstly, and uh, so it's mounting on the uh, PCB. Motherboard, and you know, Kevin also have their own LAN chipset uh, chipset uh, solution. It called QLogic. So we use the LAN use their uh, own 
LAN as a solution to logic and uh, with the storage on the motherboard. So for this kind of view, so we have the optimized design for ARM solution to provide the um, best performance, not only for the computing, also for the connecting and the storage. And is, are there some other things you can say about the PCB design? Uh, some uh, what's going on here? This this is uh, this is similar, but how about uh, yeah. over here? Yeah. So for the uh, this generation, you know, there's a train. So for the storage, customer want the high performance things like NVMe U.2, and the SoundX2 also can provide NVMe solution. So we will have NVMe solution for this uh, new Thunder X2 generation. So it's the, also the new design for our uh, Sun X2 servers. The, the, the high density design right here, is this something yeah. you can only do with KVM Thunder X2 or you can also do with Intel and AMD? This kind of four in one. Yeah, they are also the common design. You see there is also the two model for the AMD and the Intel use the common design. So, so like this and four yeah. of them it go inside. Yeah, there's a very high, um, there's a voice from uh, market that customer want to have the ARM solution, they want to, the, they want to call a second source solution. So uh, for our um, target, for our business strategy, we provide uh, more and more flexible solutions for customers, not only the Intel, uh, Intel solution. So customer can choose by then their sales. And the one more thing is very important that in server gener uh, server market, there's a very difficult to the, uh, different to the um, consumer solution because to the uh, different applications, you need to provide different solution to make the best performance and the best CTO. For, for some uh, ARM, especially for some um, HPC and the ARM device talking uh, applications, I think SoundX2 will be have better performance than Xeon ATX. For what? For the um, like uh, uh, web searching and the some storage side, sometimes the ARM solution will, uh, will have better CTO, TC, TCO, for that, TCO for that. So Google should buy millions of them. I'm joking, but I, yeah. I don't want to know what's the secret or anything, but they, they are very interested companies yes. like that, yeah, the they cloud like that. companies, yeah. are very, I, very attentive to what's going on here. I cannot tell you too much secrets, but I can tell you Big 7, a lot of Big 7, they have already started to validation, do the validation with the ARM solution. So, uh, uh, that means they've been testing with, together with you in the last year, they've been testing, right? Yep. But, but potentially now next month, so uh, I'm just to have an idea, the company like Google, Facebook, uh, Amazon, do they buy stuff from Gigabyte or they design themselves a server, usually? Uh, I think they do both. Because you know they are very big company and do as I said they have a lot of different applications. It's depending on the applications and uh, they want to got the best performance and the best uh, uh, TCO. And uh, for this kind of view, they want to try a lot of different uh, systems. And uh, currently our system can hit some application for them. And uh, one more thing is, um, to the future view, I think that there will be a growth for the ARM architecture for the um, 2000, 2020. So, you know, in server, there will be a very long lead time to do this kind of validation and the sample stage. So, um, we provide our first uh, very early uh, sample to them to make the lead time shorter and then they can have the real order after they do the validation. So, uh, how was this year, last year, how was it for you? It was it very good. busy, very fun, how, how did it, uh, challenging? Um, I should say that in this way, um, for the last year we do the SoundX2 solution and other solutions for the sampling, and for the sampling uh, stage, engineering and RD, will be ve RD resource will be very busy. So, from next month, we hope our sales will be very busy. So next month, you hope you can go on holiday. Yeah, I'm joking, but maybe. maybe you, are you have plans? Where you? I'm joking. You don't yeah. have to say. But I need a because in the last year, maybe there was no time for holiday. But as I said, there is a very hot topic and a hot case now in different regions. Um, I think I'm busy in this month and next month. I would go different region to talk about that, especially the arms solution. And uh, you're from Japan, right? 
Yeah, I run Jeopardy. Originally. Yeah. So that means you can have a very good conversations with the potential Japanese customers, right? Yeah, I can speak Japanese, so I talk with SoftBank. You know, there's the uh, owner of the ARM solution now. So they are very excited about this SoftBank, I'm sure. Yeah, they are very excited about that, I think. Maybe that's why they buy ARM, because of this product. Yeah, they see the growth, they see the potential of the ARM solution. And uh, uh, as I say, especially in Asia, you know, Asia now is big green. And uh, for Asia, I think ARM will be very hot solution in the future. So, uh, and of course, uh, when I did the interview yesterday with the, with the KVM, they said that uh, in the other parts, of, uh, because they're similar, the, the kind of like the same price, but the CPU, potentially, they will have a com competing lower price, mm -hmm. potentially. Mm -hmm. That was going to be exciting, but maybe it's also something where you stand by. Mm -hmm. It's up to them how they're going to do the business. Are they, gonna, are they going to give a discount or no discount? Sometimes Intel gives discount, sometimes AMD maybe will try to do You know, it's all uh, yeah. it's interesting what's going to yeah. happen. I know. Um about the pricing, a little competition, but I can tell that the for the MSRP, the Sound X2 solution will be very competitive than Xeon 86 or whatever Intel solution and the AMD solution. And the one more thing is, we are very, we are maybe the biggest partnership uh, partner with uh, Kevin side for their Sound X solution. So. Um, their pricing is very aggressive and our pricing will be more aggressive because they will provide special price for us. We will have the Gigabyte price. And Gigabyte is selling millions of servers every year? Yeah. In total? Yeah. So you have all the infrastructure, you, you know exactly how uh, Taiwan works and all how to make everything yep. in China and everything? Uh, that's for the, Our business style is very flexible. So we not only just uh, provide our server to the end user, we also can provide our server to some SI customers, distributors, so customer can choose what they want. So we can do this kind of business. Um, we can do the total solution for the, we call it a level 10. And you see this is a level six without memory, CPU and uh, uh, hard disk. And the, even for motherboard, you can see we have our motherboard lineup. But th these motherboards are uh, AMD. AMD. So, uh, but do you have motherboards like this for the KVM? Um, we were, but for the beginning, usually we do the optimized design for uh, system because now we are more focused on system because it's have a uh, high living you, you know. And one more thing is, we if we do the optimized design for the system, then it can pro provide the best performance and the optimize uh, for uh, different applications. But for motherboard, it's not for end user. It's just for some uh, SI customers. They need to uh, combine the motherboard to their chess chess for their solutions. Wouldn't it be cool to have a uh, maybe some uh, kind of like uh, development boards, something like that? Yep. Are you, are you, would you consider doing that, or is it it's not your job to do that? Where maybe something kind of affordable for like developers to get yep. a Thunder X2? Yep, uh, that's also in our plan because you see we do a lot of uh, servers now. We also have our priority and the trade off for the resource. And uh, in the beginning, we just uh, do the um, optimized system for customers. And if customer want like a research company or some uh, engineering um, prof professional guys, if they want to stand up motherboard to do the validation with the motherboard, we also can talk with them. And uh, uh, if I just turn around, uh, so this this one is uh, not for next month. Is it a little bit later? When is it available? This one? Yeah. Click here. Uh, so this is for next month. Uh, this is not for next month. This is not for next month. No, um, so September, isn't it? I think in Q3, Q3 maybe. Yeah. Q3. Yeah. So uh, what's the still remaining challenge here? The the challenge uh, we have two things. Uh, now we are under uh, studying and under uh, construction. One thing is, you know, for this server. It will be shared the power and the share the uh, thermal solution in this to you. It's very high density, you know. And for this case, in this case, you see the CPU will have a very high power consumption. Then we must solve much more difficulties um, than this one U to U solution because it have more CPUs inside this to U form factor. Totally eight CPUs. 
So the similar solution is the concern we are now under uh, validation. And one more thing is for the for our internal validations, we need uh, more CPU uh, than this 12 case. You know, this if for the one U or two U, we just have two CPU, then one system can be validated. But for this one, need eight. So we are talking with Kevin about to provide more CPU samples for us. It will be um, it will be faster than our uh, leader time of the validation. So it's depend on the CPU numbers and our thermal solution study status. Then we can decide the runs timing of this system. But when I did the video with the uh, Kavium yesterday, uh, he said they have 40 different SKUs. 40 different 40 SKUs. 40 different available SKUs. Yeah. Are they all compatible with all these three? Or are you um, only choose specific one only for, for these products? Or you only take the highest one? What do you do? Uh, we do, if you say the cover range, uh, we have the biggest cover range of Sound X2. Because we do this, we know this is our uh, Gigabyte standard channel product. 1U, 2U, and 2U, 4 no. That will be the mainstream product in the market. But we also do the CRB product for Caveat. We, do, we make the, their CRBs for 1U, 2U, even the workstation, we also have the CRB for them. So they do a lot of applications, we know that, and we do a lot of the cover range. I think we are the biggest partnership to do uh, SoundX2. What is CRB? CRB is a reference board. Reference board. And so is this uh, the 32 core uh, 2.5 gigahertz or is it a 16 core 1.6 gigahertz or something like that? Like there's a whole, you know? Yeah, you Which know, one is this? Um, you know, this time Kevin provide almost more than 40 SKUs of CPUs. They have 32 cores, uh, two, uh, 28 cores, and uh, even the uh, 60 cores. Uh, th so they want to have the same coverage of the uh, Intel Purdy solution like the Skylake and the AMD APEC Napper solution because you know in the, for the server applications they will have the PC, uh, HPC enterprise mainstream storage entry different the segmentation in the uh, server market you cannot just have one SKU to do so you need to have the different TCO SKU and the performance SKU to fulfill different requirement so uh, some of them have a different thing on the SOC for networking or a different thing for another market or the similar SOC design is just a different clock speed only? No, this time they changed the strategy. In the SoundX1 generation, they have different application SKU. But for this time, they just use the same strategy like the Intel Party and the AMD APEC, just to provide a different performance and application usage for the SKU. So there is no um, big category between the CPU SKU. So the design of the SOC is similar, it's just different clock speed? Yeah, it's the pin to pin design. Pin to pin design. And the, the cooling will be different if it's a 16 core, 1.6 gigahertz, or a 32, so then the... The, the TDP were different. different. So different, yeah. And so in, in here, it's easy for you to fit, uh, there's not so much space to fit the, the, the fan, or the coolers. The fan is too high fan, something like this. But for in our tube, oh no, you can see this one. I cannot open the uh, cover. So in our two you phone, we have an advantage for the thermal solution because we use the double fan wall. Use the double fan wall, then we can provide more performance for the thermal solution. Compared with our competitors, they only have the single fan wall, but we have we provide this double fan wall. So the fan, but how about the 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 cool, uh, the, cool, the 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 heat sinks? The heat you, you have will a be the one you expertise, height heat sink. yeah, and that's just fine. Uh, the yeah. one you height, one you height heat sink for both uh, every node, and uh, the difficulty is, you know, they were sharing the two uh, double fan solution. So that means we can uh, we can provide uh, all the skill supported in this uh, in this server. But one thing is, for the full spec, usually we will have some limitation of the CPU skew. But if customer don't want to use the full spec, that means they maybe don't need a one, uh, too much rear I.O. add-on card, or they don't want a full storage, then I think uh, all the skew can be supported in this server for some X2. And uh, you, you could also potentially work with startups, uh, new companies that are doing new hosting solutions, 
uh, they want to provide uh, bare metal or uh, uh, like companies like packets maybe they will be very happy or uh, you have all kinds of a lot of them share. I cannot you mention them to, to the big companies the whole range right yeah very big range from the distributor SI research company and the cloud company and the big seven universities university even yes they are very uh, interested in our solution they are now studying about them. And you work from China to USA to everywhere? All region, worldwide. I'm in charge of worldwide product here for the, all the different solutions. Something happening in Africa? Are they, are they having some, some uh, ARM servers? Because maybe they don't it's have... That's a good question. For the Africa, maybe... maybe they need to save some power or um, something? Maybe not here. <laughs> maybe not here. Depends. Depends, yeah. All right. So uh, this has been a very busy year, and uh, maybe we'll see how much busy it gets next year. I hope yeah. it gets uh, revolutionary. I've been doing ARM server video for eight years. Yeah. So this is the moment I've been waiting for, right? Thank you for your. For That's true, right? Yeah. Because we, before it was kind of like testing, uh, yeah. kind of like slow or yeah, slow. But yeah. now it's. I think maybe. it's very important for us to do this kind of things. They. In this market, we need some pioneer to do different solution because um, I'm basically I uh, for the I'm I'm a car company employee many years ago, and you know in cars the diff different brands like Toyota, uh, Volkswagen, and the GM. But for server, um, there's no option and no choices. I think it's a little boring. Maybe we need to do some interesting job to engage a lot of different solutions for different applications. So we are the pioneer to do so. Gigabyte is the pioneer to do so. We are the leading pioneer in ARM, uh, ARM solution and we provide um, flexible solution and different solution to different applications and customers. Hope they can have a second source, third source. I don't want to say anything bad about Intel, you know, that's not... Uh, that's yeah, they are good, they are I great. don't want to say that, right? But they were supposed to have 10 nanometer at Computex, but somehow it didn't work. Yeah, it doesn't I work. See. So maybe uh, ARM has already shown 10 nanometer in the phone. So yeah. I, I don't want to. I don't want to leak information. Not, what's yeah. happening next? That's not the confidential information. But I don't want to announce this information instead of Intel CEO. But uh, actually, Intel CEO have has already announced that because they were still used the 14 nanometer technology, right. and but ARM um, they were transferred to seven nanometer uh, technology. Maybe, that's a very checkpoint. In maybe the, that's a lock for ARM because they are risk reduced instruction set. Maybe it's easier to put in a lower nanometer than the complex Intel architecture. Maybe they have some issues with those small nanometers. So maybe that gives an opportunity yeah. with what happened in next year, you know, and then the year after that. Maybe there will be some opportunities for ARM I, to do something very interesting. Yeah, I just can say that uh, from the technical view, seven nanometer will be good pri uh, performance than 40 nanometers. So that's the truth, and so we can see what will happen in next year, and uh, that's also one potential for ARM solution. And I'm sure they're very busy with all kinds of strategy meetings, and like yeah. all the R&D guys are like getting new ideas every day or every week with like, oh, we should do this, and like, oh, great, let's do it, and then they have to design a new chip. Yeah, you know, uh, now more and more focus is uh, the AI solution, cloud, everything is the AI or, uh, AI or cloud, but what's the AI and the cloud, the hardware will be server, right? So um, server market really change very fast and uh, we have our strategic meeting uh, almost every week and uh, sometimes every week we need to change the decision or change the direction for the uh, new plan because it's really changed a lot and a lot of new technology now uh, coming to the um, market and uh, we should choose and make the trade-off how to use this kind of new technology. And I went to the NVIDIA press conference and you know Jensen Wang, he has yeah. a very cool style yeah. and he always talks very cool about his GPU yeah. and it works with GPU, right? Yeah, we are now working. You can plug it in? Um, but where does it yeah, currently we also, uh, I think uh, both Kevin and us, uh, and we are now talking with uh, GPU company uh, such as NVIDIA and AMD. Yeah, but um, currently the final certification is not uh, finalized uh, in Kevin and SoundX2 solution. But we will continue to talk with these two companies to make uh, ser uh, ARM server also can be used for AI and HPC. Because uh, last time we did a video, you, you told me that this you can connect GPUs over here. Yeah, for the design, that's why I talk, we talk with NVIDIA and AMD, because this 2U server 
for this portion, we can support totally three GPU card there. But one thing you know, GPU is not the VGA card. It needs the official certification from uh, vendors. So NVIDIA and AMD must do the total uh, tests for the uh, GP GPU card validation. And after that, they will provide uh, one official uh, approval for this kind of solution. So we are now talking about the official certification about the ARM solution. Because when they when NVIDIA showed their Volta 100, yep. it looks like a beautiful GPU. The, the, the Volta 100, can it work with KVM in theory? Or is it only the GTX 1080? What kind of GPU are you talking about? I'm talking about the PCI type, not the uh, NVLink. NVLink, um, I think, still will be used uh, Intel solution now. For now, it's... Yeah, uh, SSM2 yeah. will be only supported on Intel, uh, Purdy and Grantly solution currently. And the full... Um, both AMD solution and the uh, uh, Kevian solution, they are working with NVIDIA to talk about how to support MV, uh, NVLink technology. But currently, we haven't got the official uh, approval. But uh, at the NVIDIA press conference, they have their uh, Xavier ARM chip yeah. together with the V100, right? Yeah. On the same PCB. So yeah. that's the NVLink you talk about, right? Or what's called the... Uh, that's yeah. the faster SSM2. link than the... Yeah, faster link. It's the different proprietary um, card. It's not used the PCI slot. It will be have the black uh, baseball under the SXM2 module. So it's a special form factor. And something new, a new category in the last few months I talk on my website is machine learning, the AI accelerators and all that. There's so yeah. much happening here. So yeah. much, like uh, Huawei is doing a design, uh, yeah. ARM is doing a design, everybody wants to do, do new design. Yeah. And, as That's going to be exciting what happened with this next year, in the next few months, right? Yeah, as you mentioned, uh, um, the new technology become more and more, and for the AI, cloud, HPC, and the even storage, uh, there's a lot of new technology now coming to the market. So uh, sometimes it's difficult to make trade-off, but uh, we had a uh, leading position in the server development, so uh, we, we have very good partnership with them, and we talk with each other to decide the strategy. Even a uh, very interesting interview I did with uh, uh, Dr. Shunpei Yamakazi yeah. from SEL in Japan, and he 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 is an inventor of IGZO, yeah. and he say IGZO, if you can put this in a CPU, mm -hmm. will be hundred times less power consumption. Yeah. So it will be exciting future. Yeah, a lot of ideas. Even in China, they use uh, some chipset, ARM chipset, to do new GPU car I heard. So it really changed a lot. So it's very fast. We are now. Um, put our eyes to a lot of new technology and find, make the final decision, the trade-off of.